Hey guys, what's going on? My name is TNDB Tansen, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now today we're going to be doing my official kind of review over it, but before we get started I want to show you guys my stats real quick, and just kind of everything about me. This is my character right here, as you guys can see I have my logo on there, I'm level 50 as you guys can tell. That's the class I normally use, that gun right there, um, we'll go ahead and show you that uh, in a second right there. This is the class, if you guys want to see it, you can pause it, but... Um, I also want to show you guys my stats, like I said, here's my combat record, uh, and I don't know, I'm pretty proud of it, I like it, and then on the leaderboards I am ranked within the top 500 on Free For All, which is pretty cool, so I just thought I'd show that, and this is worldwide, um, all time, so that's pretty cool, and it just, just standard, uh, Free For All, but, you know, um, I don't know, I think it's really cool. And then I guess once the game starts, we'll get into get into the uh, review. I really like this map though. The map that's playing, I really like it. It reminds me a lot of Plaza from Black Ops 2. Just the gameplay of it, not the gameplay necessarily, but just how it runs. And there's a lot of features that are very similar um, within the map. And it just I don't know. I really like it. Um, probably one of my favorite maps. I don't know why. It's just I love it. It's so cool. And yeah, it's funny because I have a mall up there, and that's what Plaza was. It was a mall. So I don't know. It's pretty interesting, but. I like the colors and stuff on it too. So you guys can see, we are in the game, we're about to go, we can move our HUD around like so. And we are going to go ahead and start the review. As you can tell right off the bat, spawns need to be fixed, because there was a guy right there. Um, that's my, that's one of the biggest things with this game is the spawns. Um, they really need to be tweaked a little bit, I think. We got a, res a supply drop, which means we suck. Either that or we're doing really good, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but. Uh, the spawns definitely need to be tweaked and stuff like that. There's just just things that always are in Call of Duty. The lag is also really bad. The great the game breaking lag. Um, like if the game is lagging, you can't even shoot the person. I would go into more detail, but I'm like focusing on the game. But um, it's like you you are. Oh hey bud, nope. Get down. The the lag is just it's unreal. It's like a five second delay or something, and it's like. You can't even shoot the person. You start shooting, your bullets take like five seconds to actually start shooting, and then by that time the person's gone and has already shot you in the back. So it's like, it's it's, it's really bad, the lag. That's like the worst lag I've ever experienced with a Call of Duty game, and it gets really annoying. But other than that, two, other than those two things, I feel like the map is, or the game is pretty good. I was skeptical at first of the exosuits and stuff and how they work out in the Call of Duty feeling and just how it would affect, but... I don't know, I really like it. And I'm also glad they added this little paintball effect mode. If you guys could see, um, when I shoot and when someone else shoots, it drops, like, it has paintballs rather than bullets. Um, I just use it to increase my accuracy because if you guys could see, I, I, like, miss. And I could use those paintballs to tell where I was shooting and, uh, try to fix my shot, which it, there didn't work very well. But, um, <laughs> it is quite helpful. I, I have seen quite an improvement, um, while using it. It's, it's really nice. I definitely recommend using it. Um, yeah, that's that. I could have swore I just saw a guy down here. Did he run through here or no? Um, oh yeah, he did. Okay, let's kill this guy. Boom. Alright, we gotta get top of the leaderboard. Or not leaderboard, but, uh, yeah, the leaderboard, I guess, for this game. The scoreboard. Um, gotta win in another, in, in an easier way of saying things. There's a guy over there. Where'd he go? Those, those two guys are gonna get in a fight. I completely miss all my shots. Um, but yeah. Uh, all the maps seem to be pretty good. There's a few that are iffy, um, but overall, I really enjoyed the maps. The campaign was really good. I loved it. It seemed like a, it felt like a Modern Warfare 2 type game in the campaign, and I, I really enjoyed that, because Modern Warfare 2 is one of my favorite Call of Duties, and a lot of things were similar to that, as well as the gameplay aspects here are similar to Black Ops 2, just kind of the look and the feel of it are, are similar, um, and I just, overall, I really enjoyed the game, uh, Obviously, things could be changed to be made better, but um, for now, we got what we got, and they're pretty good. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they do with the game. This whole season pass uh, zombies thing is really stupid to me. That's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. If you don't know what that is, it's like you have to buy the season pass to get the extra zombies game modes or something. I don't know. I don't. I haven't read a whole lot into it. I didn't really care to, but um, yeah. And then there's like that third, third game mode rather than campaign and multiplayer. It's like exosuit survival or something and i mean or exo survival i think is what it's called and it's okay it's like survival from modern warfare 3 which i didn't enjoy a whole lot but this one seemed to be a little bit challenging it was it's like 15 rounds i think um long 
And I mean, it's pretty cool. It'll it'll help you out a little bit if you use it. It's very it's all in all the multiplayer maps. So if you want to learn the maps, just go on there and, and practice on those. I guess um, those are always really nice. And I don't know. It's just overall, it's really cool. And I really am enjoying the game. So like I said, Exo Suit Survival could be a little bit better. Multiplayer is pretty decent, and campaign was great. So overall, I would I would say it's doing pretty good. I this is probably the Call of Duty game I've been most interested in since, like, the Black Ops days. Um, like, Black Ops 1. So, there we go. We just gotta take a second to do something. There we go. Cool. Let's see if we can't come over here and kill these guys. There are a lot of different things, like the invisibility, but the invisibility isn't, like, it's not actually invisible. It's just, it, you can still see the people, so, I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but sometimes they can sneak up on you, which is pretty cool. Um... And the pick 13 class system is laid out really well. There's nothing that's really overpowered in the game, so that's a plus. And I don't know. I'm just like I said, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, there are just the negatives, such as the lag and the spawns and stuff that would need to be fixed. But obviously, there is time for change. Things will get better over time. Hopefully, things may get worse over time. We never know. It just it depends, I guess, how if they listen to the community and if they listen to what needs to be fixed and stuff. So, and. Maybe bring in some more features. Um, the game modes they added seem to be pretty fun. There's the uplink game mode, which is pretty cool. And then momentum is pretty cool as well. It took me a second to figure out what in the world was going on. But after a game of playing it, and it was like constant back and forth action, it was really cool. I really loved that game. Um, it was... I, I understood. It's really cool. I highly recommend checking those two game modes out. They're both really pretty, pretty awesome things. And they may have added more, but I know those are like the two that I've played. Um... I know they brought, like, Search and Rescue back and stuff like that, but I haven't played anything. I think I've played Hardpoint and Search and Destroyer, the only two objective games. I've played, like, two games of Hardpoint um, and, like, hated them uh, because of the spawns, so that definitely, like, was a turnoff there. But um, Search and Destroyer just felt, it felt weird with the exosuits, so I might try it without the exosuits and see... Although, the game playing, like, with exosuits and then playing without them is kind of... It, it's a strange feeling, too, but... I mean, I'm sure I could get used to it. That's another problem with this game, is, is that, like, so many people are gonna get used to using these exosuits, and then they're gonna go and make the next Call of Duty, and they're not gonna have them, and people are gonna have to, like, readjust back to not having them and stuff, so it's gonna... That could cause a few problems. I know it'll definitely mess me up a little bit, but... Um... You know, it's no big deal. Uh, I mean, you could play without them. That's probably what I'll do towards the towards the end, but, um, uh, looks as if we're wrapping up this game here, somebody is about two points away from winning, unless they just are terrible and don't win, or something happens, I don't know, um, they're one point away from winning now, so, I think this is where we're gonna wrap it up, so overall, I'd say it was pretty good, it has its flaws, but the game seems to be decent, um, and that's actually the end of the game, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I guess we will see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of the game? And uh, what would you like to see them add or take out later on? My name is Bentia Dupitea.